few years ago, I was traveling on business in Utah. I took the opportunity one late afternoon to investigate the area and search for compositions. It was late spring and the valleys were warm with sunshine, while the mountaintops were hanging on to the remnants of the winter snow. Life was returning and the smell of farms was in the air. Insects were buzzing and the birds were singing. At the intersection of two dusty dirt roads with only a fallow field and distant mountains for company stood the remains of an old stone house. The roof was gone and the walls were crumbling. The chimney stained from countless fires used to warm the small house in harsh winters decades ago darkened the inner wall. These were framed with graffiti and the names of those who left the evidence of their undying love scratched in the inner walls while the outside walls were pockmarked with bullet holes. I have often wondered what story this old house could tell. Was there once a family of homesteaders eking out and existing here through the cold winters in a one-bedroom house? Or was it built for migrant farmhands to live in during the Dust Bowl and Depression era? Where did the bullet holes come from? Was this a hideout for a gang? And were they from a shootout with the FBI? On the return to the Logan Valley, I came down from the northwest along the Logan River. It is a meandering water with several channels and marshland. A two-lane road crosses the water several times in the Logan Valley. As the sun was setting, the moon began to rise over the mountains. I stopped at a small boat launch parking lot and found a photogenic group of reeds in the foreground for a subject. The marsh reeds in Mount Logan are illuminated by the setting sun while the moon keeps watch over the land. 